everyone, my name is Maria Rybakova and this is the fourth episode of the show Events of the Round on the Euroleague YouTube channel. Today we sum up the results of the year 2019 that has been full of events in the world of underwater rugby. World Championships in Grass, Champions Cup in Berlin, Nordic Championships for Juniors in Eggerson. Let's start with the Euroleague. We have already told you about the champions' deeds of Norwegian team Molde in the previous episode. Here is the link. Now let's talk about the final match of the seventh season, where Danish club Tatserna and Russian club Beta fought for the second place in the standings. Following the tournament results at that moment, the Danish would be quite satisfied with a draw. But the Tots did not want just to play defense and attack most of the first half. Ball handling in the first half is 60 to 40 in Tatserna's favor. In spite of these two minutes before the end of the first half, Moscow team scored a goal. Team captain Viktor Krylov took a perfect position under the basket and, having received a pass, seized the opportunity. In the second half, ball handling became even and the teams clearly got tight, spending more time near their surface. The match was not without emotional outburst. Ilya Sorov was sent off for two minutes for unsportsmanlike behavior. Better had an excellent opportunity to score another goal. However, its Turkish players Chihan Kipper and Hakan Toga missed their opportunity. Tutserna missed its chance as well. Alexey Pryazhnikov managed to kick out the ball and thus prevented the two-on-one situation for Russian goalkeeper. The final score of the match, 1-0, allowed the Russian team to be placed second in the standings following the results of the season. The first underwater rugby world championship took place back in 1980. Only seven male national teams participated in it. The 11th World Championships, which took place in the summer of 2019 in Graz, has become the largest one. It brought together 17 men's and 14 women's national teams. The women's final saw the confrontation of the three-time world champion German team against the two-time world champion Norwegian team. The game between two old and fierce rivals was a tenacious fight of two equals. Dangerous moments occurred near both baskets. The first half of the match ended in a draw, however, it did not affect the good mood of the fans. During the second half, the fight was even too. The teams held the ball for a long time, leaving a lot of strength under the water, However, there were no dangerous moments. Both teams called their timeouts to recover and discuss the game strategy, but it did not bring on any goals. The main time ended in a nil-nil draw, and the game went on to overtime that has a golden goal rule, which is sometimes referred to as sudden death. In the middle of the extra time, Norwegian forward Gerd Selibake manages to launch a quick counter-attack, makes a perfect pass and the ball returns to her again and she scores a goal. Norwegian national team becomes the three-time world champion. Bronze medals went to the women's national team of Colombia. You can see the final standings of women national teams. The results of all the matches of the World Championships can be found on the official website. The link is in the description. The final of the Men's World Championship brought together current two-time champion, the national team of Norway and the national team of 
Colombia. At the beginning of the match, Norwegian team is the first to grab the ball. The first dangerous moment is also caused by the team from the country of fjords. The Colombians can be credited with good ball handling and victory in many confrontations. One of the lone Colombian attacks results in a mistake of Norwegian forwards. They leave Hector Suarez one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper and the former opens the score. Norwegian team calls a timeout to adjust their actions. Finally, the first half ends with a slight advantage of the Colombians. 1-0. The second half is approximately the same. The Colombians handle the ball and attack a lot. Norway is waiting for their chance to counterattack. The average age of Norwegian plays is much higher than that of the Colombians, and it would be clearly seen towards the end of the match. Marius Schiare passes out, his rivals come to the rescue. The match is halted. Norway takes a timeout and has a replace the player. This is the final of the World Championship. The players are trying hard beyond their capabilities. Norway manages to carry out several dangerous attacks, but without any results. And just a minute before the end of the match, the star of the Colombian team, Samuel Gaviria, scores a goal, dashing the hopes of Norwegian team to renew their world champions title. And the national team of Colombia becomes the strongest team in the world for the first time. Bronze medals went to the founders of the underwater rugby, the national team of Germany. Now you can see the final standings. We thank the official YouTube channel of the World Championships for the videos. You can find the link to it in the description. There you can also find all the footage of the games. I would like to remind you that we only make this show thanks to your support. We would like to thank everyone who participated in the fundraising. Thank you guys, you are amazing. In the description of this video you will find the link where you can make a donation. Subscribe to our channel, click the like button and leave your questions and comments. The first Champions Cup took place in 1987. It brought together the winners of national championships. German team Duisburg became its first winner. Champions Cup has been recently traditionally held in Berlin. Both men's and women's teams take part in it. The men's final saw a fight between Team Orcas, Colombian champion and current Champions Cup winner, and German winner Team Malsch. Samuel Gaviria scores the first penalty goal. The Colombians scored the second goal as well. The final score 2-0 brings on Colombians' second consecutive victory at Champions Cup. Women's final saw a confrontation of Norwegian winner Team Akkaren and German winner Team US Langen. The game ended with a big win of Norwegian team. They scored five goals in the German basket and these goals were not returned by the Germans. This is the fifth Akkaren's victory at Champions Cup, which is the best result among all women's clubs in the history of the tournament. Nordic Championship for Juniors has become the biggest tournament for youth teams in 2019, having once again replaced European Under-21 Championships. The tournament took place in Norwegian town Egerson. National teams of Norway and Sweden met in the women's final. The most intense moment of the match was the first penalty by a Norwegian team, which opened the score. The final score, 12-0, registered the dominant position of this country in women's underwater rugby 
As for the men, the final saw a fight between national teams of Norway and Denmark. The first goal was scored only in the middle of the first half, bringing Norwegian team forward. The end of the first half was a failure for the Danish. They missed three goals and went on a break with devastating score for zero. Norway became the strongest team in the men's youth tournament as well. You can find the link to videos of all the games of Nordic Championship for juniors in the description. Summing up, it's fair to say that for women's teams this year is marked with Norwegian flag. They won the World Championship, Champions Cup and Nordic Championship for juniors. Among men, underwater rugby players from Colombia proved to be the strongest. They won the World Championship and Champions Cup. Colombian breakthrough does not exclude the EuroLeague either. Three new world champions are playing for better in the new season and have already scored seven goals. These goals will conclude our episode about the main events in the world of underwater rugby in 2019. In the description of this video you will find the link where you can make a donation so that we have an opportunity to make such reviews. My name is Maria Rybakova and see you later. Bye.